Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here for another great cooking video. But before I get started, thanks to my sponsor, Manscaped. We're getting personal here. Here's the top three reasons prison is the only place to have long nose and ear hair. It makes you look crazy. But you don't want that out here. So I'm Manscaped. The Manscaped Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer keeps you free of crazy hair with skin safe technology, reducing nicks and snags. And it's rechargeable. Lithium ion battery lasts up to 90 minutes. Second, with crazy nose and ear hair, you look freaking dangerous. In prison, that's great, but out here it sucks. I like to be presentable. The Manscaped Weed Whacker powerful 9000 RPM motor with a 360 degree dual blade system makes you approachable. You know 79% of partners say long nose and ear hair is a major turn off. So third, that's a look nobody wants to get with. But out here, I get all the right attention with my Manscaped groomed look. And listen, some prisoners tame their crazy hair. And those screams you thought was someone getting f No, that's nose hair, boy. Go to manscaped.com slash jewel and get free shipping and 20% off. Avoid the crazy bushy prison look and get the right attention with Manscaped. Well, I've been waiting for this video and it's kind of funny. You know, I went shopping for what I did and I felt like I was in the commissary. So this cooking episode is going to be about a dish I learned in USP Atlanta. We called it pizza. It's not pizza, but we called it pizza because we had, if you want to call it a Doritos crust, and then we put cheese on it. Now stuff, and I'm going to make it for you guys right now, and you're going to really enjoy it. Here's what you need. Obviously, my tools of the trade. In my book, what do I do? I have my razor blade, my trusty razor blade. Also, I got the, the little plastic stuff they used to give us on a big day like uh, Thanksgiving or something like that. They would give you the plastic stuff. Obviously, they didn't have metal stuff and utensils in prison. It was always plastic and we used to steal stuff out of the kitchen. What do you need? You need, depending on the size of your order, you need two bags of Doritos. Now, we used to send, uh, we could feed in this video, we're gonna show you how to feed about six people, but it's a huge meal. You can feed a lot of people with it. What we used to do is we'd get a guy and say, hey, listen, you want in tonight? Hey, Paulie, pick up a tomato. He gets two stamps out, they're 50 cents. Maybe they're going for a dollar because we can't get um, tomatoes that week on, on the commissary, because you don't sell them on the commissary. We used to steal them out of the kitchen. So you'd say, hey, Paulie, check out, get a tomato, you're in on a pizza. Get an onion to another guy. Get a bell pepper. Hey, you pick up the cheese. Whoever picked up the Doritos, that was the most expensive part. The one guy would pick up a ramen noodle soups. Now, we used to use in prison also, and we sell this on the commissary, summer sausage so yes this is part of the thing and it's gonna make the meat in the pizza and I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be real good trust me it's gonna be good I, I'm starting to get a little excited cuz I'm hungry and I'm hungry when I'm hungry I want to eat so let's get right to it you need a box obviously I got this box whatever they sell out of the commissary they would sell you a case of ramen noodle soups or a case of soda, or uh, you know, canned stuff, whatever it is, we would get these boxes. And the reason we got these boxes is because they're like our tray, our pizza tray. So now you have cheese that they sell off the commissary. So somebody would pick up the cheese. So now you have your ingredients, you have your stuff. What do you do? Okay, first thing you do is start prepping. What does Larry do? He takes the summer sausage, cuts right through it. Now, I always made the whole summer sausage because Larry wasn't the kind of guy. Look what I'm doing with that razor blade, everybody. Did you see that? Look at that. That was with the razor blade. And then, of course, you peel it. And, of course, you make it easier with this kind of stuff by going like this. And then you can peel back your stuff. Now, also, I learned this meal 
in USP Atlanta. When I was in Atlanta, I was on A1, and I remember a guy making the meal, and it was my celly, Lee Sharrow, and he goes, you want in? And I go, what do you mean you want in? And he told me what they were doing. Now, how I did it now is I altered it a little bit. I made it a little bit different by adding my own stuff in it. And what I mean by that is some people like certain things a certain way. Uh, somebody will say, man, I don't want the meat part, you know? And we would make the tray where we'd have no meat on that side. It's like as if you ordered a pizza at your uh, pizzeria and said half pepperoni and half plain. Same thing. So now all I'm doing is cutting up this summer sausage. And look what I'm doing this with everybody. Can you see this? I am literally doing this with the raises and stuff that I did in prison. Before you know it, every weekend we have a pizza coming. Of course with the booze. Uh, we're of course making the wine every Friday night would come up. If something went wrong, it didn't come up on a Friday night, meaning, you know, the guards caught it, something happened, and we'd have to, you know, make it come up another time. Now, what would happen is we'd start this meal, someone would not go to chow, and the other guys did who needed something, so the guys would start this meal, and before you know it, they'd come back, and somebody would say, hey, we're gonna have the pizza at eight o'clock at night. You know, the last move was eight, eight o'clock at night, or 8.30, depending on what unit and prison you're in. And you say, okay, guys, uh, we're gonna have the pizza at eight. The reason you had to do that is because you gotta remember, we had one microwave per unit. Whatever prison I was in, we didn't have more than one, one microwave. So what we used to do, we used to, you know, hey, I'm next, I'm next. Put your bowl on top of the microwave, and then, you know, you're next. This is not a big microwave meal where we're boiling water and doing stuff like that. Now, I could not tell you how many times I've seen fights People get stabbed over this, over this. Because listen, when you're working and you're doing stuff all night and you put up your $2 or $3, that could be a big deal. I mean, it's not, it's not like everybody's got all the money in the world. It, that's not how it works. So you gotta remember that as well. So, you know, a guy puts up his $2 or whatever it is he wants in on this, that's a big deal. And go and mess with him. I ain't messing with the dude. Not happening. All right, look where we're going. We're down to this. Now, as you can see, we're taking this. We're bringing this over here. Just taking it in your microwave. Put it on for a minute and a half just to start to see what's going on. While that's cooking, you get ready with your other stuff. Next up, tomatoes. As you can see what I'm doing, everybody, I'm just cutting up this tomato. I heard my microwave go off, so now I'm going to check this, the microwave. Oh, it's starting to get cooked a little bit. One minute. You don't want to cook it too much because you're going to be cooking it again when you cook your pizza. So you don't want to do that. Remember that. Now, usually we had a bigger box because we had bigger microwaves than I have. But we used to we it used to take a tomato, an onion, a bell pepper, and uh, two bags of Doritos and make a good one. Sometimes you can get away with one bag, but who wants to do that? This is Friday night. This is pizza night. Now, look at that, everybody. Woo! You just leave that right there. It's all ready to go. Next up, gotta get an onion. You always peel an onion. I don't know, I won't cry. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> you know, onions were the one thing we used to like to get because you could put them in your locker for long periods of time and they cure themselves, so you never had an issue with them. See how they cut too? It would be easy to do that. Look at the way they cut. So we would take an onion, and once you cook it, you'd only use half of that onion. And then when you use half the onion, you still got the remainder of the onion. But you can actually cut an onion in half, use that onion, and keep it. We had got, people would make these meals, what I'm doing, and sell them. You know, they'd sell them for three books of stamps or something like that which is $15. Now the guy who makes it knows that he's, it's gonna cost them $2 a bag of this, it's gonna cost him this, it's gonna cost him six, eight dollars to make the whole thing, but he knows he's gonna make money. So that's a hustle. Everybody got a hustle in prison. Now I'm putting this in here, and the reason I'm doing this is because when I put it on the pizza, 
I am gonna put it all over the place. Okay, see these kind of bell peppers? This is what you're getting in prison too. When I saw this in the grocery store, I said, get this one, look at it. It's the one you're gonna get, the crappiest one. But you know what, we didn't care. They all worked, everybody. So we would get our pepper, cut this pepper up, and this is kind of stuff, everybody, we made on pennies. When you ask a guy for a ramen noodle soup to get in, or you ask a guy to go get a tomato, now he can rob the tomato out of the kitchen. If he knows a friend there, he says, hey man, I need a tomato, man, give me a tomato, I'll get you something tomorrow. I'll get you from, from the store, man. Or, hey, listen, man, I, you know, listen, I'll, I'll clean your cell. I'll do something or, you know, whatever there is, you know, there's what they call bartering. So when you want something, you, there's a way to get it. Now, you know, I told you there's bad ways. There's, you know, the drug selling. There's everything else that goes on in prison. And I hate to see young people get hooked into that because that, you know, that's a pathway to, to the whole, to addictions. Uh, and again, there's more drugs in prison than on the street. Trust me, I did them. I did them all in there. Because before you know it, someone's gonna approach you and they're gonna say, hey, listen, man, you just get this to the yard and we'll be cool. Or, hey, man, you want in on this? You wanna ride our train, they call it, or, you know, jump on our bus, which is their, their group and they, that protection. And I've seen young kids get sucked in and hooked into the drug business. Before you know it, they're either stabbing someone or selling their ass or doing whatever they gotta do to survive. And it's some sad stuff in there. If you're making bad choices, think about that. All right, now everybody, we're here. Now we're gonna do the prep. This is the fun part. What's the next thing you do? You need a garbage bag. Any garbage bag. We used to get garbage bags out of the uh, kitchen or counselor's office. You know, they, you know, the guards at the desk have a bucket and they say, hey, go to the go get bags. And you get in, you steal one, you do something, whoever the orderly is. Bags were easy to come by. That's how we used to get the wine and cook that. Now you take this and you put it in here. That is our base. Now, when people are done with this pizza, let me tell you why I'm not gonna tie it. Some people, like to take their thing and then turn it inside out and shake it. So they'll put the food in, they'll cook it, they'll come out with the bag and shake it, and it, it, it gets all together. I don't like that, I'll show you why. Me, I like taking my bag of Doritos and putting my first layer down. Okay, you got your first layer down. Now, you take your cheeses. We had cheese just like this. You buy them off the commissary. And now you do this. This is the first layer. And listen, I was in, a, in, in Atlanta and I seen a guy do something stupid while a guy was cooking this and stab him. Stab him right away. And uh, boy, that, that <laughs> trust me, we all ate though. The guy didn't go to the hole. I mean, it was a private thing, and uh, they did. They took care of themselves. And boy, if you think I didn't eat after that, but we talked about it. We said, "Man, what's wrong with us?" And you start thinking about it. And then you sit down at a table, and you're looking next to you, and one guy's got life. One guy's got three life sentences. Another guy got 50 years. And you wonder, man, is that terrible? Now look what I did. The first layer, everybody. Then, take some of your meat, put your meat in there. Now this is the first layer. Remember what I'm doing, I told you. It's the first layer. Now, this, which you put in here any way you can. Hello, baby! I'm getting hungry. Then you layer it up again. I didn't say how healthy this was, but it sure is good. You don't want to break them up. That's not the object of the game here. Take your next layer of cheese. Now, just to let you know, you guys can alter this any way you want. This is the foundation I'm showing you. I've seen some guys who love fish put sardines in this stuff. Not gonna happen to me. Whatever you wanna alter it with. Then I put my remaining of my meat. Now you put your, your toppings again. Oh man, I'm getting excited. Okay, next up, 
You take this and you put it in the microwave. Now, remember what I told you, I have a box. You gotta get a box that you can put in your microwave. If not, you can cut the box down. The box is the foundation, the bag is your stuff so you're not eating off pay, uh, cardboard. Now you put it in, start it out at two minutes. Now, as I said, you could have altered this any way you want. So what some people would have done is they say, hey, laugh. You turn these down, you guys know about now, if you've been to college, you've been anyway, you break up a ramen noodle soup, you cook it in a bowl, and the only reason you cook it is to get it sauce so it's not crunchy. Some people would like it hard. Everybody's out there. Hey, Lord, can I get it some? Hey, Lord, can I get a little? Come on, Lord, you owe me. Come on, you, I did you right. Might be a big better for my ticket or whatever it was. And hey, can I, I need something. Hey, just give me a little. Everybody wants this at the end of the day. Because there's sometimes, you know, again, if you don't have the money to make it and eat it and stuff, and things are different in prison. The little things matter. That's what I've learned in prison. Okay, wow. Now, look at that pizza. Look at that, everybody. That's a pizza. Now, the next thing you do, now you see what you're doing? Look at that, everybody. Look at that. I cook for about four minutes, depending on uh, what you want to cook. As you can see, look at that. It's perfectly cooked, and the sausage was pre-cooked a little bit because you want to get them cooked. Wow. Now, in the joint, you know, if it's just my Sally and I, and we made a little one, so look what I'm doing, see? And we got to remember how thick this is, and down below, the cheese melted, so it actually gets better. Mm -hmm. Look, see that, everybody? It gets better. Because it goes from both sides. And look at the meat. You don't know when you're going to get it. What makes this dish, everybody, is the layers. You layer one, cheese it, and you get on the bottom and it's cooked, and the cheese cooks down and up, and it lays in there, and all that sausage juice and stuff gets into the chips. And I'm telling you guys, that's prison pizza at its best. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go eat now and keep eating. Teresa's gonna eat with me, we're hungry. Uh, so anyway, I wanna thank you guys. Please make good choices. Don't do the stupid things I did to go to prison. Uh, thanks for watching. We're having a great time. A million subscribers soon. We wanna thank everybody for that. We're on a move. We got a lot of great stuff coming out, a lot of videos, gaming stuff, a whole bunch of stuff coming. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please pass the word. And please make good choices to stay out of trouble.